Hey, this is Godwin Kelly, Motorsports Editor of the News Journal. I'm with, uh, what's your name again? Yeah, that's the man, Helio Castroneves. <laughs> you got it. People yeah. get confused with Helio, Julio, hello, but it's all good. Yeah, yeah, I always do that. I, I'm, I, I get this man's name wrong all the time. That's fine. But, uh, so you're here testing the sports car, the Team Penske sports car. How's it going so far? So far, so good. We've been uh, working hard. Um, obviously, we're doing a little simulation of the race. And um, uh, we also have our um, third member uh, with Alex Rossi. So everyone is getting uh, in sync, but testing. we got to be prepared. So to be prepared, we got to make sure we practice all the details that we need for the 24-hour. Okay. So some would say, boy, this is really early to be testing for the t Daytona 24. Uh, but I'm sure this is part of a series of things that you do to get ready for that race. You know, not many, uh, uh, it's very uh, difficult uh, when you have a, like a track day like this, uh, especially when you start testing stuff for the car, uh, when you don't have traffic, uh, like you're gonna have the track unlimited time. So those are the things that is important for us. When you come back here for the, you know, the war and things like that, you have times, you have traffic, you can never, it's a great, a great comparison. However, the things that we need to test, uh, it just need to run free, and right now it's being perfect. Okay, so when you're when you're here testing this early, is it just like a mechanical test? Are you trying to do aero? Can you give us a hint on that? When you have two cars, you're able to, um, you know, uh, one team does one thing, and then the other does could be mechanical aero or things like that. Uh, as I said. Uh, we split the job, we split the work for uh, between both cars so that we can uh, try to, uh, we're not looking for the best time, but this is the time that we're looking what well, will be beneficial or not. So for when we come to you here for the, for the race, we understand what we need to do. Okay, so uh, Roger made some big news, your car owner. Um, I know you probably don't know all the details and all that, but what do you think about that move of him buying not only the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, but the IndyCar Series. Well, let me tell you, uh, for um, as we all heard uh, from his own uh, world, but uh, as an experience has been here for uh, uh, 20 years with the team, uh, it couldn't be the, the person that is more passionate about Indianapolis uh, is, is Roger. Uh, I haven't seen everybody like that, and that's one of the reasons that I really enjoy to work with him. Plus his organization, it's absolutely first class. Um, he does have experience not only in, uh, in, as a race team owner, uh, as a business obviously owner, and, and, and plus running a track. So it couldn't be a better guy and a better company uh, to take over the, the IMS and the IndyCar Series. So I do believe it's go to definitely the next level and go back where it used to be a long time ago. Well, now, the, uh, from what I read, the downside is is he can't be kind of like actively involved with the team. Like he, he won't be in the pit box. So that, that must kind of sting a little for you guys. Yeah, especially myself going back to the Indy 500, you know, having him in a time stand being my strategist. So I kind of like lost, uh, you know, my strategy guy, let's put this way. But if you're thinking about the future um, of the series, uh, the future of the sport, uh, and even, uh, you know, combine everything, I do believe he's going to do everything he can in his power to uh, not only continue the tradition of the IMS, but also, uh, uh, you know, improve the sport for the new young generation. So this is going to be your third year in uh, sports cars? It's my third year in sports car. Yeah, getting veteran here. Now I'm not a rookie anymore. <laughs> so is this... Uh you must really enjoy this if you if you're going into your third year. I mean, you must really enjoy sports car racing. I enjoy racing at all. Um, you know anything, and for form and shape of racing, I, I really enjoy it. But when you have a great organization, a great series, great manufacturer as Acura uh, combined, and great teammates as well, I can't forget about that. Um, it, the job becoming more fun, and uh, I'm excited for uh, you know 2020. You know 2019, we have finished. Right up there, we were able to accomplish as a team a championship with uh, Acura plus Juan Pablo and Dane. Now it's our turn, so um, we're going to do everything we can to um, continue the, the success. Okay, and then um, Daytona Motor Miles wants to know, what do you think of the Rolex 24 at Daytona? Because you were kind of an outsider, and now you're an insider, and you 
maybe have seen that the race grow a little bit and become more prestigious? As you can see, I have no watch, so so yeah, I, I, I I only a Fitbit, so this is doesn't count as a watch. So uh, as you can see, I I don't wear a watch because I'm waiting for the right one, and the right one is the Daytona, uh, the Rolex, so um, Daytona. I'm looking for that, and uh, hopefully uh, we'll be next year. Yeah. Now, some drivers put the tattoo of the Rolex on their <laughs> arm. Well, you know. I, I have I have a hope. I, I you know I know you can dream big, but uh, that's why I don't do the tattoo yet. But hopefully uh, <laughs> we don't need to do that. Okay. Well, it's been great having you on Daytona Motor Mouths. Good luck, and uh, we hope that your test goes really well. Thank you. Say my name now. Elio. There we go. Good job. <laughs> Elio Castro Neves, and he's won the Indy 500 a few times, I think. Yeah, okay. All right. Thank you.